To create a SharePoint list quick step, navigate to your list and click Automate in the top ribbon. Then click on the Quick Steps option. Next, click Create Quick Step. This opens the Quick Step Builder. Quick Steps let you create custom, one-click actions for your list. You can use them to start a Teams chat, draft an email, update a column, or trigger a Power Automate flow without opening the item or switching apps. In this tutorial, we'll walk through how to create two different Quick Steps. One to start a Teams chat with someone listed in a person column. Another to update a column value like marking a task as complete. Let's start with the Teams chat option. Under for selected items, select start a Teams chat. In the enter a name or email address field, choose a person type column. For example, task approver. Check include item link and message body so the chat includes a direct link to the item. Give your quick step a name, something like send task to approver. Then click Create. You'll be taken to the Manage Quick Steps page, where you'll see your new Quick Step listed and already turned on. Let's go ahead and test it out. To trigger the Quick Step, right-click on any item in your list, then hover over the Automate menu. You'll see the name of the Quick Step you created, Send Task to Approver, in this example. Click it to run the Quick Step. In this case, Microsoft Teams will open and automatically populate a chat message to the selected person. In this example, the task approver, which happens to be me. Just a quick note, as of the time I'm recording this, the link isn't clickable. But knowing Microsoft, this will likely be improved in a future update. Next, we're going to look at how to create a quick step that sets a value. In the Create a Quick Step menu, select Set a Value. Then, choose the column you'd like to update. In this example, I'll select the status column. Next, choose the value you'd like to set for that column. I'll select Complete. Give your quick step a name and click Create. Now, when you open the Quick Step menu, you'll see both of the quick steps we've created. Let's go ahead and test the Set a Value step. Remember, to use quick steps, right-click on any list item and hover your cursor over the Automate menu. You'll notice that two quick steps now appear. I'll go ahead and click Task Complete, and you'll see that the status column updates from Not Started to Complete. Last, let's look at how to turn off a quick step. From your list, click the Automate button and then select Quick Steps. Next. Click Manage Quick Steps. This will open the Manage Quick Steps menu, where you'll see a list of all the quick steps created for your list. To disable a specific quick step, simply toggle the switch next to it to the off position. In this example, I'll turn off the Send Task to Approver Quick Step. Now, when I right-click a list item and hover over the Automate menu, you'll notice that this quick step no longer appears. If you found this helpful, give it a like, drop a comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more Microsoft 365 tips. And while you're here, check out these other videos you might find useful.